Hey guys, v here with another V-Plays, we're going to be taking out the P-51H, the Tier 8 American Light Fighter. P-51H is just going to be more of the same, it's going to be a lot like the P-51D, but you're going to be spending quite a bit of time in this if you're going to unlock both aircraft that come off of this line, both the FJ-1 and the F-6U. So, let's take a look at the enemy team. they got a ground attacker, they've got... P-51D and an XF-5U. So I actually might have a shot if I head towards the mid. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go straight towards the center, try and take out these heavy fighters at altitude, and play the role of the Mustang to the best of our ability. Let's see, what do we got here? I don't want to eat all the flak, and I also don't want to take all their incoming fire. But now we're going to get on their six and start chipping away at them with these machine guns. It's got a vision that you're just raining the bullets on them. There we go, we managed to pick up the zone. Don't know if I want to chase after 288A, but I will escort our bomber. Ooh, but there's a spit on him. Uh... Spit's broken off. Got him. Maintain that velocity. Speed is life. Making another run at the Spitfire, trying to catch him unaware, and nice. We have the other P-51 down here, but this is going to be the D, the human-controlled. We've got a whole tier on him, so we should be able to outmaneuver, outpace, and out firepower. There we go. We're a tier above this specialized ground attacker, but I really don't feel like getting shoot up by his tail gunner. We're just going to do a quick pass on him. And we're just going to break off of him. We'll come back around from another angle. From the side. Hoping to get a fire. Okay. We're keeping him distracted. The IL-8 is super low health right now. There we go. Don't let them reach their target. Controlling this central zone is going to be paramount for the time being. We've already built up a decent amount of personal points. Is he engaging our aircraft? He might be. I got to keep an eye on him because he'll engage us. He won't think twice about it. In aerial combat. There we go. Got him. Is that the... Spit, now it's the P-51. I want to have some energy in my boost pool here, and I want to maintain decent velocity, so we are tapping the boost. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that pneumatic assist, try and get around on him. Got him. Now we've got an XP-72 He's got better guns than us, and he actually has really good speed. Ooh. What is this? Spitfire engaging a Spitfire. Ah, oh, I would have loved to have been a part of that in a different situation. I don't want to go straight into a Spitfire in a climb. I will be at a disadvantage energy-wise, so we're going to pick a different engagement. I'm going after the 72, but I'm aware that the human control ground attacker is over here. And I just don't want to get surprised by him kicking the guns up, so we'll try and be aware of that. Oh. Batwing, eh? And the P-51 is probably coming back for some vengeance right now. 
We lost our wing and we're up against the BVP as well. So we're not as well off as I would like. Taking out that pilot though is going to be a big advantage for us. Got him. Oh, is that the BVP? Yes, it is. He got killed by our ally that was behind us. I'm going to wait till he's hurt a little bit more, but I'll go after the ILA. You got taken out by an ally. Perfect. And here we are on the 6 of the 72, and he lost his only real strength, which was going to be good speed, but his engine was knocked out. I'm going to get some energy back in the piggy bank. This thing can climb like a rocket ship. Look at us nearly in a vertical climb, hitting that boost, getting up to over 380 miles an hour. And I'm willing to bet that that's the P-51 again. At this point, I would recommend if I were this guy, I would just not be in the middle. Going up against an over-tiered P-51 while you're still in a P-51, it creates a um, an unadvantageous power dynamic in it. That's the word I'm looking for. Not advantageous. Alright, let's focus on the game. Okay. That was a waste of the pneumatic assist, but... Spit is a scary prospect. And just knocking them out is going to be beneficial. Oh, it's one of these Russian bombers. He was charging us. Again. The ground attackers are over here. He's kicked his guns up on us. He knows it's squall line. He's looking for those opportunities to get that last little hook. There he is again. He wasn't looking at me this time. There is the P-51 again, but we are in the tail gunner. Managed to get winged legend. Let's get back around on this guy. Cool. Oh, there he is. Is he going to finally get us? That tail gunner could easily pick us away. Let's try and get into some cover. A little bit of terrain masking, and we should be able to survive till the end of the match. Long as we're playing smart, which I'm not really doing because I'm still chasing down ground attackers with nasty tail gunner. But managed to pick him off. We're just waiting out the last of the ticker right now. What's left? That ground attacker's still over here. And that's gonna be game. I'm proud of you, pilots. Head back home. Whew, 16,000 personal points, 15 kills, eight destroyed while defending, managed to pick up the Akamatsu, Wing Legend as well as Conqueror, and Guardian Badge. And I believe the other one's flying Paladin, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, somebody asked for a P-51H video, and I'll be honest, I went through several battles where I was just going up against 209 Alphas or even 109 Gs that were able to outturn me but also maintain chase. Uh, all things being equal, altitude fighter to altitude fighter, this aircraft finds itself lacking. I think specialization is going to open up a lot of windows for us, uh, but for the time being, I'll say this was a good battle, but it wasn't necessarily in... This is not the norm. It was hard to come across this battle. I still think that the Mustangs have a place, and I do like the P-51H. When I first ground through this line, it wasn't until the H I actually figured out how to fly altitude fighters, and 
because it's so much of a difficult uh, line to go down initially, it taught me things that paid dividends when I went down the 109 line or I went down the MIG line. And it really made me enjoy altitude fighters more. As a result, there's a there's a spot in my heart for the P-51H for what it is and what it's capable of doing when you play it correctly. But it takes a lot of patience. And if you're going to be flying this to get through two lines at the same time, I suggest having something else to go uh, and fly so that way you have some type of stress reliever so you're not just flying p51 h battle after p51 h battle because i think you'll find that it starts to get a little bit stressful at times and that's kind of true for any line that you're grinding don't grind necessarily but play the aircraft maybe put a little bit more effort into it but have a bunch of aircraft you're simultaneously operating through so that way you can try and get a better feel for the game and you can continue to enjoy it because when you start running into a brick wall and you're just having a tough time it's good to let something sit in the hangar for a little bit and then go fly something else until you're ready to come back to it i do advocate getting the fj1 as soon as possible i really like the f-86 saber and the fj1 is a great little aircraft and i do think it's awesome uh, but at the same time, I wouldn't go for this. I wouldn't go for the FJ-1 and go for the F-6U Pirate. I think you'll just find that you're stressing yourself out after a while. Uh, but again, keep the P-51H because eventually you'll make that transition. And I do think it's worth specializing because once you specialize it, It'll open up a spot for a lightweight power unit, which will allow you to be able to get a little bit more maneuverability. You'll be able to upgrade this equipment even more so that we can get some more uh, out of it. And then you can also throw in here a polished skin in order to get yourself a little bit more of that dive speed. Because this aircraft has some pretty decent dive speed at 559 miles an hour, being able to boost up to nearly 500 miles an hour in the straight and level. And a fairly good climb rate. It may be coming up against jets at tier 8, but it still holds true to what you're used to. And it still is competitive, uh, but again, it struggles a little bit against other altitude aircraft. And that, I think, <clears throat> is a point of contention with a lot of other pilots out there. And that's fair. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope I gave you a realistic look of what to expect when you get to the 51H. And as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.